disconnect the connector to the downstream O2 sensor. It's located on the passenger side. Now you can see the clip. It's located in the top harness. You gotta squeeze that. So from the mid pipe underneath the oil pan and transfer case, it's a 22 millimeter. So I'm going to try to put a box and wrench on there only because of the area where it's located. It's really difficult to get a O2 sensor socket in there. Don't be afraid to spray a little penetrating spray. Let them get into the threads there, make it easier for you. You just want to make sure you do not strip the threads, easily, very easily done on O2 sensors. Once it's loose enough, you can grab it by your hand. Take the new O2 sensor, take the plastic cap off the end. Make sure you start it by hand so it doesn't get cross-threaded. And as you can see, the O2 sensor comes with a crush washer. It is just like a spark plug. So once it bottoms out, you're going to have to give it a good quarter to half turn so that washer gets crushed and seated because you don't want it to have any exhaust leak. Okay, it just bottomed out, so I'm going to try to give it a good half turn. Now I'm going to connect connector back on the intake so that I have something to push against firmly and I'm going to take the new end connector line it up and push it until it clicks